Hey guys, it's Revolutionary. Welcome back to another Revolutionary Seed, where you get a seed of wisdom and love to help you to be more positive, help you to grow your faith, and to help you to grow as an individual. So for this week and the following two weeks, we're gonna be talking about faith. This series will be faith-based. Today's Revolutionary Seed is titled, Walking in Faith. There's just something about faith that on a day-to-day -day basis, we might not even realize. It's that it's more important than maybe that we're making it out to be. As I mentioned in a previous video, the Bible states that faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. Faith is a powerful action that we can use in collaboration with God's will to make the impossible possible. But at times, we might be so caught up in our daily lives that we might not even give faith a thought. Maybe it's not something that you're used to, or maybe it's a little difficult because of something that you're currently going through. Maybe you have faith in other areas, but in a specific area, you're struggling. If any of this is relatable, you're not alone. There are other people out there that feel just the same way that you do. And remember that you're never alone because God is always there for you. You see, there's a story in the Bible in Mark chapter 9 of a father who has a son that has the evil spirit that's inside of him. And that spirit is continually trying to kill the boy. Jesus' disciples were called in to help this boy, but they just couldn't do it. Then the father went to Jesus and asked him to help. The father specifically said, but if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. Jesus was like, if you can, everything is possible for one who believes. Now this is the part that gets interesting for those who are listening to me and they're struggling with their faith. The father then goes on to say, I do believe, but help me in my unbelief. I don't know about you, but I find myself asking this in my own personal prayer time. I do believe, but help me in my unbelief. Help me with my faith. This tip right here is one that you can use for yourself if you're struggling with your faith. Go to God and ask him in the area that you're struggling with. Be honest and authentic about how you feel about it. Tell him how you need help. God wants you to be real with him. Even though the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God, don't think that if you're struggling with your faith, you can't ask him for help. Ask. So to continue the story I was telling you about in Mark chapter 9, later on, you know what happens after the father says, I do believe, but help me in my unbelief? A large crowd comes, Jesus rebukes the spirit, and it had to leave. In that moment, Jesus showed what was possible when we lack in our faith and we ask. This is why I encourage you to go to God and ask for help if you're struggling in this area with lack of faith or unbelief. Know that if you're having a difficult time, God will answer. Today, this week, whenever or wherever you're watching this video, be encouraged. We can go to God and ask for help in our faith. For if we believe that God will help us in our unbelief, that's enough faith to start making things possible. Just like the example of the Father in Mark chapter 9. Second of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 in New International Version Bible says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Let us start walking by faith and we'll see the possibilities that God will make happen. Thanks to my loyal subscribers and to those who watch my videos. I appreciate you. Make sure to stay tuned to next Sunday for my latest video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and remember to ring that notification bell so you're notified for the next video. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what was your biggest takeaway from today's message. As always, I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching this video. Remember that every single day is a new opportunity to do better than your last. Be revolutionary.